Hey everyone, Mitchell from MitchellGould.com and in today's video, we're gonna be going over LinkedIn ads, audience list targeting. So let's go ahead and get started here. I have an agenda. We're gonna just review company lists, contact lists, some things you need to know about them uh, before you upload them and also some list targeting tips and take a look at some other things that are pretty cool within LinkedIn like the engagement report and the audience insights. So there are a few things to know before uploading your list. The list has to have at least 300 rows, the CSV file. It has to match with a minimum of 300 members because in LinkedIn ads, any audience has to be at least 300 members in size. Ideally, it's a lot larger than that for the unit economics, but um, it has to be a minimum of 300. It will take up to 48 to 72 hours for the audience to generate. Um, I've seen it quicker for small, smaller lists, but I have seen it take you know close to um, a few days for the list to generate with much larger list sizes. The more attributes you can include, the better match rates you'll have. So we'll go over what that looks like in the next slide. The max list size has to be 20 megabytes or lower, and you can only include 300,000 companies or contacts. If you have more than that, you can obviously upload multiple uh, lists to the platform. So let's take a look at the upload templates for the company and contact list. For the company list, here's the upload template that's provided by LinkedIn. You can see the headers here are company name, company website, company mail domain, LinkedIn company page URL, stock symbol, industry, city, state, country, and zip code. The more of these fields that you can include, that's gonna help your match rate. If you include the LinkedIn company page URL, that will really help with the match rate because that's LinkedIn's you know, data. The stock symbols is a great one too, but as many of these fields that you can include, the better your match rates are gonna be. Let's take a look at the contact list. For contact, it's email, first and last name, job title, employee company name, country. This is device ID and Google ID if you have those. And again here, the more attributes, the more fields that you have for your contact list, the better your match rates are going to be. You can, you know, if you don't know John Smith's email or if you have multiple emails for him, you can add all those rows in here and LinkedIn's going to try to see whatever one they can match to a member profile. So the more you can provide, the better there. The beauty with contact and company list is that you can further refine them with the additional attributes in LinkedIn ads. So say you upload a company list, you can further refine it by targeting marketing job functions, everyone who has a senior level or higher, or you can have your company list and marketing manager job titles or HR manager job titles. Whatever your ideal customer profile is that you're targeting, you can use that company or contact list as kind of the seed and then further refine it and narrow down to your segments. And that makes it very powerful in terms of like in the B2B marketing space. So just in as another visual for that, you can have your company list and target HR managers. You can have your contact list and do the same. Um, a lot of times when you're uploading contact lists, you know their job titles, so you can target on other attributes. But just wanted to show a visual example of that. Another great feature when you upload a company list is you can go into the audience section of LinkedIn ads and you can click on that company list and it's going to show this engagement report. So you're going to be able to see how many companies matched to your list and how many were unmatched and which ones were unmatched. This engagement level metric is essentially telling you potentially how aware the members in this company are aware of your brand. And you know, the higher, the better. It can go to very high to very low, but this can be a great signal to see you know, who's interacting with your brand and also an opportunity if you're doing cold outreach uh, to further you know, follow up with uh, the, the companies that match the very high or high engagement level. You can also see the impressions metric to understand you know, which companies are getting impressions, which ones have more impressions than others. And that just helps you kind of spot check that to make sure, you know, your company is the right companies are getting impressions and can also help with your strategy on outreaching and other channels. Another great feature is the list insights. So if you're looking at a list that you uploaded, you can click insights here and it's going to show you a breakdown of those members. So you can see, you know, what content they engage with, uh, their location breakout. You can see their job functions and other, you know, seniority breakouts. This just helps you see additional data 
of the audience that you uploaded. It can be useful for spot checking and troubleshooting. You know, if you upload a contact list, does it make sense? Are you seeing the job functions that you intended to see there? Does it look different? Are you gonna need to add any job function exclusions? But again, it's just helpful to get some insights there. And then lastly, I just want to run through where you go to upload a contact and company list. So within your campaign manager account, you go into the audience section and then you click create audience and it'll be under the upload a list category, company slash contact. So you click that and then you can select a contact or a company list. And when you toggle in between there, you'll see the company list template. So uh, you can click that for company list and you can click the contact one for the contact list template. And that's gonna just give you the templates that we were looking at here. You can add all your data to that, save those as CSV files and then come back here and select your list and then agree and upload. And then it'll begin populating and matching. And again, it takes 24 to 72 hours for that. That's a little information about company and contact list. It's a very powerful feature within LinkedIn ads and uh, what makes it such a powerful feature for B2B marketing and getting in front of you know the ideal customer for your business. If you have any questions on that or um, comments, put them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.